To create a drawing list or drawing index, which you can place on a cover sheet, go to the View button at the top, choose New, and then go down to Drawing List. Um, in the Fields tab, uh, we're going to add the sheet number and sheet names to the drawing list. Uh, so click on it and click the Add button. I'll choose a sheet name, click Add. You can change the order that these appear using the Move Up and Move Down uh, buttons. Going to the next tab, I'll skip the Filter tab for now. In Sorting and Grouping, uh, we can sort this drawing list by sheet number in ascending, in ascending order. With the Formatting tab, uh, you can change things out like its left and right alignment. Um, finally, in the Appearance tab, uh, this is where you can change the grid lines um, and make them uh, invisible and show the headers and change their size and style. When you click OK, uh, it will bring you into the Drawing List view. And you can see in the browser window to the left, a drawing list has created, been created in the Schedules and Quantities category. In this view, you can go in and change the names uh, of the sheets and the, the drawing list title um, directly. Uh, so if I want to make it an architectural drawings list, um, and in the browser you can see that it automatically updates the, the name to architectural drawing. Um, I can also even go in and change the names of the sheets. This will also automatically update the names of the sheets in the browser and all title bars automatically. Um, you'll notice that Revit has automatically populated uh, the list of the of the drawing list um, with all the sheets that have been created in the project so far. If you need to add drawings to this list uh, that are external to the model, for example structural drawings, um, the easiest way to do this is to just create new empty sheets um, and it will automatically add them to this list. So go to view, new sheet, for example, uh, choose a 24 by 36 title block and uh, give it a new number, um, I'll call it S100 and Foundation Plans. Click in the white space. You can see in the browser window the sheet's been added to the project and then if I go back to the drawing list and double click on it, um, Revit has added this new drawing to the drawing list. If I want to start filtering out um, drawings out of this list uh, and I want to create uh, say an, a separate architectural drawing list, separate structural drawing list, plumbing and so on, um, you want to use the filter tool uh, to filter that drawing out. To get back to its view properties, right click on it, choose view properties, you can get back into those tabs and start editing them. I'll choose the filter tab, I'll click edit next to it. This time I want to set up a filter by sheet number and I'm going to set it so that it contains, using the pull down menu I'll choose contains and I'll set it up so that it filters through and the architectural drawing list only contains drawings that have an A in their drawing number. Um, keep in mind that this field is case sensitive. I'll click OK. I'll click OK again. And you can see that it's dropped out um, the S drawing and left only um, A sh numbered sheets in the drawing list. Now that the A drawings are appearing in the architectural drawings, the A number drawings, um, if I don't want the cover or any other sheet uh, for that matter to appear in the drawing list, um, that's an attribute of the sheet itself. Um, so if I want to take the cover um, out of any drawing list, um, I'll go down and double click on the cover sheet, bringing it up. Um, I can click on Element Properties. And when I'm in the Element Properties of the sheet, if I scroll down, uh, one of the instance parameters is that it appears in Drawings List. If I uncheck that box and click OK, I can go back to the architectural drawings list that I've created. And it's taken that sheet out of the list. To place the drawing list on a cover, um, go back to the cover sheet in the browser window. I'm going to double click on the cover. I'm going to go up, find the architectural drawing list, click to select it, and then just drag and then um, click again to place it in, into the cover sheet. Finally, once it's placed uh, where you want it on the sheet, uh, you can use these grab handles to start pulling it out um, to uh, the size that you want. Once the drawing list is stretched out to where you want it, uh, you can use this break icon and you can start splitting it up um, to get as many uh, views of the drawing list on it that you need. And this is how you start organizing them.